Привет, друзья! Сегодня у меня в гостях Ален Эрешевит, знаменитый кнайфмейкер. Здравствуй, Ален. Здравствуй, Мария. Ален, расскажи немножко о себе. I was born in Dallas, Texas. Immediately after I was born, my parents moved to Malaysia. And I went to school in Malaysia till about maybe um, the first grade. And then we moved back to the States where I spent uh, most of my childhood in Texas. Then uh, my father got a job uh, working for the UN in Thailand and we moved. And I finished my school, high school, uh, in Thailand and I moved back to the States for college. I uh, received uh, two college degrees, one in fine arts and one in criminal justice. Then uh, during that time I was in the military, uh, the Marines. And uh, then I was making knives, and after college is when I decided to go full-time knife making. And the whole time uh, from I was my childhood, about 10 years old, to now, uh, almost, almost 50, uh, I've been practicing martial arts. Mm, it's been a lot. I started in Okinawan Karate. Then I studied several different styles of Kung Fu. Uh, I started um, when I was 16 in Kung Fu in Taiwan. I spent uh, three months uh, in Taiwan uh, training at a, it's a, a Kung Fu school, but it was a Shaolin Kung Fu. So that was, um, uh, I worked very hard. It was about 10, 12 hours a day for three months. That was a pivoting point for me in martial arts uh, because I was exposed to something outside of the karate. The, the, um, the intensity of the workout and the duration uh, basically changed the way I worked out from then on. And then uh, when we moved to Thailand for, for high school, uh, I, that's all I did was train in Thai boxing. It talked to me more practical than any of the martial arts I've studied before. It was simple, but very practical and uh, very effective. So I trained in Thai boxing religiously for at least 10 years. Uh, then I started training in Kali, Filipino martial arts. We did a lot of stick and knife fighting. The, my instructor, um, we really focused on how to fight. Yes, we focused on the art, but his main uh, specialty was fighting. At that time period, I did a lot of stick fighting, um, knife fighting, and that lasted for about 10 years. But you know, once you start doing something long enough, um, you start seeing weaknesses in the system, and so um, you start modifying what you really want to learn. Uh, so recently, what I've been doing is um, studying the old arts of Thailand. This is, uh, you have Muay Thai, which is the Thai boxing, modern boxing, but then it came from Muay Barong, which is the old art. Just like judo is the sport of jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai is the sport of Muay Barong. Muay Barong is very different from Muay Thai. Uh, there's weapons, there's ground fighting, like wrestling. There is head butt, you hit people with the head, eye gouges, and you gouge the eyes, and biting. It's a true uh, combative art. Ален, у тебя очень насыщенная жизнь. Спасибо, что сказал. Ну, давай вернемся к ножам. Какой был твой первый нож? My first knife. I must have made that first grade. So I was always interested in what and I made my first folding knife out of wood and some steel I found outside. In my spare time, I would uh, make any, I'll make swords out of wood and uh, I would buy knives at the, um, the drugstore. In America you could buy big knives at the drugstore. 
you know, my mother never knew. When I went to Thailand, I was designing knives and having the local knife makers make the knives. So after graduating from uh, high school, I moved back to the States to go to college. Uh, I was still designing knives and I was having the local knife makers make my designs. But something was missing. The, f the feel of the knife uh, was just not right. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make my own. I bought a grinder and drill press and I made my first knife in my apartment. Just to tell everybody, don't do that. Uh, it gets the carpet very dirty. And from there, I just kept on improving the knives. Um, never learned from any knife maker. I did not want to learn from a knife maker. And the reason I, I decided to do that is because everyone that I know that studied under a certain uh, master, their work looks like that. Well, my plans for the future is to refine my knives even more. Every three years, I like to shake up the tree. I feel like if a maker does not push himself and redefine himself, he becomes stagnant. So next year is my 30th year of making knives and I'm going to take my some of my existing models and refine it even more, uh, especially the internals where no one can see. Some of the finishing techniques will be different. I've seen some blade finishes here in Russia that I like and I will try to use it. I will probably make one or two more new models, push precision more, probably add a couple new features um, that will make the knives a lot more solid. Uh, it's pretty boring. It's work, work, work. Um, I get up in the morning. I we feed the dogs, have breakfast. I answer all emails, and then I start in the shop. I have a lunch break, then get right back into it. And around four o'clock, I break, and I go to the gym, and I do this every single day. There's not a break. No week. I mean, even on the weekends. No weekends. Uh, when I take a day off, I'm actually feeling guilty. I'm trying to cut back. Uh, usually, I do blade for sure. TKI. New Jersey. Uh, the Gathering, USN. Sometimes the Paris show. Sometimes. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to narrow it to about four shows a year. Years ago, I used to do I think it was 15 shows. Both cities are absolutely gorgeous and they're completely the opposite. Moscow is big, you know, very, uh, lots of history, you can tell there's power there. St. Petersburg is just absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's, uh, it's impressive that it was one man's dream. You can see the Italian and the European influence in this city. <laughs> the, uh, the Russian knife designs is very unique. Uh, I would recommend not trying to heavily chase the American look. Uh, to somewhat stay you know, pure to uh, a, a Russian style because that uh, is what's going to define you. you know, if you start modifying your look to look like an American, then you're just going to be competing against the Americans. And I think that the Russian style of more bold, industrial um, appearance is pretty cool looking. And on the other side of just the design, you have your, your carvings and your engravings that are 
uh, different, extremely different from the American and the Italians, for sure. Ali, большое спасибо тебе за интервью. Были рады видеть тебя. Thank you. Thank you very much. Спасибо. Спасибо вам.